New York, the box score shows that Orioles rule five pick Richie Martin singled yesterday in the sixth inning and later scored on a double steal and throwing error. It doesn't come with an explanation attached. How Martin sent a blooper over first base that two Yankees chased and couldn't touch. Maybe it becomes a scorching line drive in the retelling. It still counts as a hit, his first in the majors. It felt great, he said this morning. I was more excited about the team win. It didn't go as planned at the end, but I was glad we could pull it out and that was most exciting for me. Martin raced out of the box and hoped that the ball would elude gloves and find the grass. I had no clue, Martin said. I thought he was about to OBJ, Odell Beckham Jr., me and barehanded. But you need a little luck in this game and I'm not complaining. Martin and Dwight Smith Jr. pulled off a double steal in the six, with the rookie scoring when catcher Gary Sanchez's throw skipped into center field. The aggressive approach that manager Brandon Hyde has preached since the beginning of camp on full display in the Bronx, where the Orioles were trying to steal a win after losing on opening day. Me and Dwight got pretty good jumps and luckily that ball kicked away. Martin said, That was a nice way to score a run and get ahead right there. Martin is in the lineup again today for his third games in the majors. He's the starting shortstop, making the jump from AA after the Orioles selected him with the first overall pick in the Rule 5 draft. These guys are good, he said. Everybody's good. There's no let up. Yesterday, James, Paxton, he's electric. He's throwing 97 consistently. And everybody they bring in, everybody has something that stands out that makes them a big leaguer. Zach Britton has got a 94 miles per hour sinker from the left side. Chad Green yesterday was just electric. Everybody has something that stands out and you've just got to put together good at-bats and be consistent. Martin won't hold on to every ball that produces a hit, but he's got the first one waiting for him. It's in the possession of a clubhouse attendant and later will be handed over to his father. He made the trip out. Martin said, yeah I'm going to give it to him. A ball that was punched up the first base line, over the bag and onto the grass. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me, he said, grinning. I was just trying to get on base and I was able to do that and just help the team win. Martin's father, sister and a collection of friends from high school are waiting out today's rain delay. That's what means the most to me, he said. The text messages keep pouring in, more than Martin can count. I can't even keep up with it the past three days, he said. I may as well just throw my phone away. I can't keep up with it. I kind of feel bad I'm not able to reach out to some of my friends and family, but I'll be able to maybe on the plane ride to Toronto. Jimmy Yacobonis earned the win yesterday by working three innings after opener Nate Carnes. He allowed one run, the Orioles rallied and his major league record improved to 3-2 in 27 appearances. You don't keep the baseball, but you savor the outcome. It was awesome, he said. I thought it was cool that it was the Skip's first win, so that celebration was awesome. Yakabonis wasn't certain that he'd follow Carnes, the next hand to take the baton. They said it all depended on who would match up against the lineup and where they were at. Yakabonis said, if they were at Brett Gardner's spot it might have been, John, means to get the lefty-lefty matchup but they said that they thought I matched up better, so after Carnes went to they called down and said I was in. Like I was saying in spring training, I can pitch in any role now. It's just comfortable. It's easier for Yakabonis because he's transitioned to starter and has been stretched out. He's capable now of handling any portion of the game. Lacking that experience might have precluded him from being the next man up. It would have been tough, he said. I battled through it yesterday, got pinched on a couple of pitches. But I wouldn't be able to do it without starting last year. That's for sure. Taught me a lot. The opener doesn't work nearly as well if the second pitcher can't offer any length. Working three innings was crucial. 
to me, when I get into a jam and I've got to get through it for the team, I just think about slowing the game down. Yakabonis said, That's been one of the things I've been able to do to help my game big time is just being able to slow the game down and make a pitch and trust the grip rather than trying to do too much. I knew from the beginning of the year it was going to be all hands on deck. They just said be ready to pitch and whatever it may be maybe. Just stay focused and be ready to go each day. Update, an hour past the scheduled first pitch and the rain continues to fall at Yankee Stadium, no word on a new start time.